it's our intent as we move into later this year to do a very conservative reprint of Sorcery Contested Realm Beta Edition. Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Not and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to discuss the beta reprint of the Sorcery TCG that just has been announced by Eric Curiosa. It hits like a hammer. I don't think we expected this just after the day it has been announced that the beta has been sold out. But Simon from Eric Curiosa actually informed us there will be a reprint for the beta. But there will be a very, very limited reprint for the beta. It will be targeted towards the countries, regions that have not been served well yet. That means Japan most and foremost, as there is a lot of demand. That means, of course, Europe, which was particularly mentioned, and South America. This is a small scale reprint. And the reason we're doing this is to address just a few little issues that we have. Um, the first is a sort of global availability. When we made our commitments last year and worked with different distribution partners, what we found is that we were very underserved in certain territories, those territories being South America, certainly Europe, and also Asia, uh, very specifically Japan, where there's incredible demand. And we'd love for product to be available in those geographical locations. And so that's a target for that particular reprint. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> We're getting a few more boxes in Europe. I think that's good. I personally am not a big fan of reprints, as you know, if you watch this channel. I'm very, very careful when it comes to collectability. But the way they addressed it, the way Eris Curiosa actually wants to approach this, I think is the only way this will work. I think it is a good way. It is measured. It is in low supply where it is needed. It's not reprinted into oblivion. They made that very, very clear in their statement. And I think that's a good thing. I think that's positive. So people who actually need uh, product still can get it. And as the player base grows, the regions that had been underserved so far actually are able to get more product, more beta. Um, we have been very measured in what we're doing, just to basically allay any fears that people have about, you know, unlimited reprints. That's never really going to be our style at Eric's Curiosa. Will there be a revised or an unlimited edition, as we have seen with Magic the Gathering in the early days? Currently, there are no plans to print any other edition than the beta, the beta reprint. There is the possibility that this will happen in the future and i think simon hinted that they actually are planning to do this i think it's pretty clear that they definitely thinking about it but they need to sh uh, to see how the game develops first they need to make experiences along the way and then they can decide if they need an unlimited edition or a revised edition and what the print size will be Wonderful. Um, another topic that comes up quite regularly is, well, why don't you do an unlimited or revised version of Sorcery? And the answer really is that it's very premature. Um, we're basically one or two sets in and uh, we need to really sort of uh, extend out the game in terms of the core mechanics. Um, we need to welcome a lot more players um, to uh, participate in Sorcery. And also we need to learn some lessons along the way. So um, when we're ready, we will. I, I think we will probably uh, release that product to great fanfare and obviously a lot wider audience as well. But nothing to share right now. Still very curious about the print size of the beta and about the print size of the reprint, but I guess we will not know about that one. There will also be an allocation for stores, and that means all stores that support sorcery. And that allocation is meant to arrive together with Arthurian Legends. The stores that are actually organizing in-store events with the product will get beta in addition to Athurian Legends. And that goes for North American stores, European stores, stores around the world. I think that is positive as well. In addition to that, we are also looking at North America and Europe and how we can support stores as well. Um, when we made agreements last year, we re the social economics situation was a little bit different. 
Um, but also we really hadn't gained the tailwind that we've seen from our community support and the number of people who really want to enjoy sorcery. And so what we're, what we're planning on doing is to make the sorcery booster boxes available via the, um, a limited allocation for stores who participate in the sorcery play network. We're currently getting the infrastructure and architecture in place to allow that, so nothing to share right now, but it's our hope when we get to later this year, we can actually allocate stores who participate in gameplay with boxes to facilitate that alongside the release of Arthurian Legends. So it will be beta and Arthurian Legends released together. You'll be actually able to get allocation in addition to regular allocation, again, very limited from our distribution partners. So this is not something which is tremendously at scale. This is basically to accommodate our increased user base when we re release Arthurian Legends later this year. So folks, let me know in the comments, please. Did you expect a reprint to be announced already? Or did you think, yeah, it probably will take quite a while until they address this? I think it's good that they address this. They are proactively giving us the info. There is no need for speculation anymore. In the end, that's what they need to do and that's what they need to do moving forward, in my humble opinion. So let's hope they will keep doing that in the future as well. And I'm confident they will because it looks like they are picking up pace in certain areas. Overall, very positive development. I have my opinion, but I can see that a beta reprint in a small size is needed, might be needed, at least in certain regions. And I'm happy for people to get their hands on product who actually come into the game a bit later. So overall, if the beta <laughs> reprint is not too big, if it's a reasonable reprint, I guess I can live with that. Stay healthy, folks. Stay frosty. I talk to you next time. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye bye.